Lithium ion batteries are everywhere. They're in our cell phones, our scooters, even our cars, but they can also spark fires so intense that they're forcing firefighters to rethink how to fight them. The I team's Ginger Allen shows us the growing danger and what you can do to protect your family. Does this feel like yesterday? Does it, yeah, you never, More you never than a year forget. ago, Sean Knoll's home went up in flames. His two young sons escaped, but the family lost their cats and their house. Investigators say the fire started with a lithium ion battery inside a vacuum. People just need to be diligent and, you know, take this, uh, take this problem seriously because it, it is a real threat. And it's not just homes. Across the country, battery fires have destroyed apartments, shut down highways, filled airplane cabins, even local schools with smoke. It overcharged and was damaged and it started um, off gassing. This one didn't catch on fire, but that's what it leads to. Firefighters say these batteries burn hotter, release toxic gases, and can reignite hours or even days later. At Tarrant County College, crews set a car on fire for us to test new tactics. A turtle nozzle that blasts water into the battery and a heavy fire blanket that smothers the flames. There's not a lot of data out there on what the best option is to put out these EV fires. Several North Texas departments are also testing new gear. So they've got a hook that we can hook on any, any vehicle and we can just drag it out in the street and get that uh, problem away from the home to where it's gonna save more property. Uh, it could put less lives at risk. Globally, there have been nearly 17,400 lithium ion battery incidents since 1995, with more than 4,500 injuries and almost 700 reported deaths. I never took, I took a second thought, leave something plugged in. Now I do, and now I hope the next person will too after they hear the story. <laughs> Can I throw it? So Ginger's on uh, Ginger and uh, Ginger Allen and I team producer Lexi Salazar joining us now. So first question is what are the warning signs that some of these batteries might actually be unsafe? Okay, well, that's what I was doing. I was throwing the case out. Like, ah, <laughs> so that is one thing. The reason I wanted to take that case off is because bloating is one of the issues okay. you need to watch for. So that swelling of the battery. So I wanted to be able to show you that when you take the case off, what you're looking for okay. is these seams in the side of it, it's not going to be overly noticeable, but you're going to see those start to bloat just a tiny bit. So the fire department showed us devices like um, radios, where if right. you turned it to the side or laptops, where you turned them to the side, you see them start to um, just kind of get larger than normal. And then also discoloration on the screen. So if okay. you've got a screen or a computer, um, that was another thing they talked to us about. Yes, and then I think something we all are kind of familiar with is that heating when you feel the product Absolutely. heating, especially when oh, we're yeah. when we're charging our cell phones. You know, you all, we've all had our laptop in our lap, and all of a sudden our legs right. get kind of warm, and most of us don't really think anything of it, but that's actually a warning sign. Yeah. Happens so what I'm lot. hearing is these are a lot of common household items that we keep on hand pretty much mm -hmm. throughout the day. So since we have them because we we really need them, how can we prevent these fires from happening in the first place? So mm -hmm. there are several things that the fire departments told us. One of them is don't overcharge. So that heating, it really comes from when you overcharge. So when your device reaches 100%, I know a lot of us just like leave it leaving, on. Exactly. Hope it gets some extra juice. But exactly. That's not the case. No, that's not the way it works okay. at all. It's actually dangerous. So don't don't do that. Um, and when you do charge your device, do it on a hard surface. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of us, myself included, not anymore, put it mm -hmm. underneath the pillow when it's on charging the yeah. on the bed mm -hmm. or even have a device like your laptop on the couch or under blankets mm -hmm. sometimes. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, that's also a no no. Um, and then with, when it comes to your chargers, make sure you're using only manufacturer approved okay. chargers. So the charger your device comes from, use that. Not if the it Amazon breaks. charger. No. That we all buy because all there's do. so, I feel like that was the one that really got to me the yeah. most is I think because so many of us go buy right. those off the market and that's yes. the one the fire departments really stress. In fact, they yes. just sent us video two days ago of another incident and they said, look, this happened because someone used a charger they shouldn't have used. They go ahead and buy the more expensive one. Yes. And then I think we should talk about reignition and that's yes. something okay. that people don't think about. But if you have had a problem with off gassing or a fire, heaven forbid, um, you need to watch that device for quite some time, not just hours later, but days later. So in Texas, vehicles 
electric vehicles actually have to be quarantined after a fire. And then the device that you saw in our story, which blew up or, or off gassed in a science lab in a local high school, had to be taken away and put in water in the fire department for days. So, I mean, the warnings were endless, weren't they? They were, and I think that, you know, we all know, okay, yes, these batteries can be dangerous, they can catch fire, but I don't think we realized how many warning signs there are. But the good news is there are also a lot of ways you can kind of protect yourself and prevent something from happening. And keep mm -hmm. the family safe too, especially the kiddos. Thank you both yes. so much. We you really bet. do appreciate all of the findings and the helpful resources of information too Thank as you. well. As always, you can find more information on this story online at CBSNewsTexas.com. And if you have any questions about this story or even a tip for our I-team, you can reach out to our I-team at the phone number that you see right here on your screen and also the email as well.